Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're out on another auction adventure. We're out on auction number three of five of our two week five auction, you know, extravaganza, we'll call it. Um, it is a beautiful day out here in Michigan. We got an estate sale, to, or an estate sale, it's an estate auction. Um, a lot of antiques, collectibles, normal stuff we like to go for. Not as large as the last auction, obviously, which is good. Kind of don't make sure I get here all day. A little tired today. It's kind of early. 8.50, got a helper right there on her phone. Yeah. At least we got a help here today. It's Saturday, so there's no school today. So got somebody here to help, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, this auction should be good. Uh, nothing, I don't, at least again, based off of the pictures, nothing, you know, extravagant, you know, amazing. But I think we're going to get some good stuff today. Um, I can only be here for about two hours because uh, we gotta, we're got we going to go watch a football game today. So we're going to be here for a couple hours. We won't be here for the whole auction, uh, which is tough. But I'm going to try to make sure I... Uh, um, uh, I guess not try to make sure I spend money, but make sure I'm, you know, a little more aggressive at this auction to try to get stuff. Cause I won't be able to be there for the whole thing. So, so yeah, we're going to go check it out. Uh, let's go find out what's here. Maybe we get surprised and a lot of great stuff is here. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's head inside and we'll show you what's there. All right, guys, let's get rolling on this auction here. Uh, first up, a whole bunch of lamp parts. I mean, there's boxes of lamp parts. Uh, if you were a lamp collector or a lamp repairer, this was a great opportunity for you. Most of these sold anywhere from $5 a box to $15 a box. Um, but again, nothing we can do anything with, so we let that pass. Uh, that canoe there sold for $450, a really cool piece, again. Um, the paddles, though, that's another thing you guys should be out there looking for. We sell paddles all the time, $30 to $40 a pair, depending on um, the, the size of them. Some of them go for more or less, but something we always look for, but those sold for right around that price, so nothing we really could do anything with. Uh, these next few tables are full of a lot of hardware. Uh, your doorknobs, uh, your plates, um, all these things that, you know, you go inside to do a house repair, uh, or if you're looking for the old... Uh, hardware best way to put it um this was a great auction a lot of good stuff here none of this stuff came up before i could bid or before i had to leave so i uh, didn't get a chance to see those but definitely some really cool pieces that uh, we would have been interested in for sure those locks right there we definitely uh, might be seeing those at the end of the auction we got a really good price on those uh but yeah other than that you're gonna see a whole bunch of hardware coming up here that i thought were really cool we got the celebration champagne bottles i me and lily had a good laugh at those um again they weren't there for those uh the butcher right there the um machete not that a machete it's a butcher's knife pretty much that sold for about 40 dollars. same as that large pulley that was there that sold for 55 dollars um but yeah like i said they're going up here a little bit um what else we got up here yeah, because some of this stuff I wasn't here for. Like I said, we had to leave two hours in. But I was able to leave some absentee bids on some stuff, which means if you're not there, you can you know tell the auctioneer what's the highest price you'd pay for something, and they would correlate that into your bids. So they won't start it off right where you say it's at. You know, if I was to you know bid sixty bucks, they wouldn't start it off at sixty. Uh, they start to their normal price and bid up, and they would take my bid all the way up to sixty, seventy dollars, whatever I bid on it. So. I was able to do that on a few items because there are some few items coming up here that I was uh, real interested in. Um, but yeah, past that, guys, this was a uh, pretty busy auction. There was, there was a few people here, uh, quite a bit of people there, actually. Saturday auctions inside always always bring a good crowd. Um, these pop crates, I tell you, pop crates, when we first opened, would sell like crazy, $30, $40 every time. Now, I haven't sold a pop crate in months, if not close to a year uh, and they only go for 20, 25 bucks. I mean, the, the pop crate market is definitely sunk down in our area. Um, a whole bunch of sheet music coming up here. Uh, nothing I would have, I wasn't there for them, but nothing I would have bid on. Sheet music, we always try to sell them for a buck a piece. Uh, they're just tough movers depending on content, you know, imagery, uh, what, what's on the, but most of the time getting a buck a piece out of them is the best you can do. And even then is it's tough, very, very tough. So uh, they got some Christmas postcards coming up here. I would have been interested in those if they came up, but again, wasn't there for them. Uh, with the holidays coming up, people are always out there looking for the vintage Christmas postcards. Um, so I would have been interested, but I know there was a couple postcard guys there that would have made it pretty tough for me to get uh, to get a few of those things. So that just happens. So that happens at all auctions. That's no big deal. There always will be more at the next. <laughs> 
But yeah, like I said, these, uh, this is, it was a consigner auction or consignment auction. So it wasn't all just one person's estate. Um, it was actually multiple people's uh, items. So the f large lot of things that I was there for was one person's items. Um, but there was like about, there was a few consigners there. So um, I didn't get all the stuff I would love to have came up to get i wasn't able to get because uh they only did one consigner stuff at a time and the first one had a bunch of stuff so so yeah i wasn't there for everything but again being an absentee bidder was really helpful to be able to get a few things that i was interested in uh crocs those are those are tough uh we again same thing kind of market's gone down on crocs big time we used to sell those for good money and now we have a really hard time moving crocs anymore um there's some more paper stuff. This was a little more of the better end paper stuff. That's why it's up front. The uh, gloves I thought were really cool. Again, nothing that came up in time for us. You know, it's just bound to happen. When we had a, you know, when you got a, <laughs> a family and a life to live up there too, sometimes it's really hard to balance everything together and get everything done that everybody wants to do. You know, the kids want to go do stuff, which is great. And we want to go do stuff and we have work stuff. So you know how it goes. I'm sure everybody has those same kind of issues in life. It's just, we just do it on a, with a small business so it's a you know our little story i guess those pictures there the cabinet cards always really good buys there was a bunch of them there a lot of local uh companies produced them so those would have been good ones to go after but again i know of like at least three guys that were there that buy the cabinet cards and postcards all the time so i know i wouldn't have got them for a cheap price which makes it a little easier to swallow not being able to be there for them uh, a lot of that clear glass we pass on, nothing we're ever usually interested in. It just doesn't sell well enough, and yeah, it's just a tougher, tougher sell. So you know we got to be real picky about what we buy and what kind of money you're trying to get out there to make. You know, um, but yeah, there was actually some pretty cool uh, dishware coming out that punch bowl. Sells really cool, but clear glass is always tough. Uh, the next there, the glasses and the uh, plates with the black bottoms black's always a really popular color i've noticed with the younger kids so we would have been able to sell those if they would have came up but they just didn't get a chance to be there when they did come up i could have left a bid on them but again i do i want to drive 40 minutes back out to grab those probably not uh those clown reamers really cool i'm sure those are selling for a really good price i wasn't able to stay for those but those were really cool uh, if you guys get a chance you guys should look up those those are really cool me explaining to lily what that was <laughs> i love doing that with those kids like i said they sometimes they have no clue on certain things so that's pretty funny to uh to talk to them about it but yeah like i said other than that this is uh, some pretty basic stuff that was there like i said there wasn't like a whole auction load of great items so it was you know definitely uh pick and choose on this whole thing uh these quilts here those did sell for uh, about 50 to 60 bucks a piece which is funny because most of the time we do quilts uh they get you know that last auction we were there getting them for five to ten bucks and this one 50 to 60 dollars it's just crazy sometimes to think what some of these uh quilts go for you know it's just funny i mean <laughs> you know you just it depends on the auction you're at i guess uh, those right there, Lily called, uh, which obviously are, uh, um, oh, geez, now I can't remember the name of them. The, uh, oh, Cowboys wear them. Oh, man, I tell you, these voiceovers are tough sometimes. You have to actually think of the name of them. Um, she called them Cowboy Leggings, but they're not Cowboy Leggings. I can't, I don't know what they called them. Oh, man, now it's going to kill me that I can't remember, on, of course, on the spot what, what they were called. Um gosh man that's gonna be a tough one that's gonna bother me anyway tell me what those are and the people that what are they uh, not i keep saying slacks they wear them on the outside of their jeans cowboys wear them oh my gosh that's a brain fart and if i've ever had one um yeah maybe it'll pop to me at some point uh the gnomes yard decor i thought that was cool again didn't pop up in time before i left which kind of sucked again there's some couple cool unique things i really wanted that I wasn't able to get, but that'll happen sometimes, you know, especially when you got the you got to leave a little early. Now, this Christmas stuff was really cool. Now, this is where I use my absentee bids on. Uh, the Grinch was cool. It was paper mache, though, so I know we couldn't put them outside. So uh, we kind of passed on the, the Grinch. Um, the candy canes are really cool, made out of cardboard. I did put an absentee bid on those and didn't get them. Uh, there's a blow mold right there that I was going to get for Amber, but she has two of them. 
Uh, put an absentee bid on those. Didn't get that. But the candles. Now, if you guys are auction adventure, you know, watchers like I, you know, like obviously uh, we've done over the years, there was an auction door that had those candles there, the uh, large uh, candles that were out of door. And she, the lady that bought them, she was actually uh, helps with the auction. And so I went and talked to her and asked her if those were her candles. She said, yes, they were. And I was like, ah. You got them from Door, Michigan, where I was at an auction, and she beat me out on those candles. And she's like, yeah, I put them in my antique booth. They didn't sell, so I figured I'd bring them back here and uh, see if they could sell again. And she brought them back, and I put my absentee bid on them, and you might see those at the end of the auction. I was actually really excited to see those again because I was, felt pretty down that I didn't, wasn't, able to, wasn't able to buy those last time. That thing was pretty cool. It's kind of like a redneck uh, door doorbell, I think they call it, or something like that. I think that was kind of cool. Pretty uh, pretty funny piece. We would have sold, but again, didn't really didn't really uh, want to spend the money on stuff like that. Uh, pitchers sold twenty to forty bucks, depending on the pitcher. Nothing too crazy on those. Uh, I think actually, no, I think the one Winchester there sold for more. But um, but yeah, you know the stained glass piece there sold for sixty five. Uh, that floaters piece right there with the uh, bobbers on it that sold for I think one fifty if I remember right. Uh, that Firestone tire sign sold for over a thousand dollars. That was a really really that's probably the highest uh, end piece that sold today. Um, that Davis Studio sold for over a hundred. Those two porcelain signs there, the no smoking and please wipe your feet, sold for I think it was sixty bucks for the blue one and then forty for the red. Um, uh, most of those tins sold anywhere from five bucks to thirty five dollars. I think if I remember right, there were a lot of the medicine tins. I thought they were kind of cool. That stained glass piece sold for two seventy five. Um, that was an awesome piece. I was in on that for a little bit, but bowed out a little earlier than that. Uh, the lampshades there sold anywhere from ten to twenty dollars a piece. I thought they were pretty cool. That red one and green one. Uh, oh, there's the red one and green was was on the other side, but the red one there, I really liked that piece. But that was selling for too much. The lightning rod balls there, I was in on those, but I should have bid more. I, I think they went for twelve fifty. I should have bid more on them. I kind of one of those things on the spot. I was you know didn't I let it get to me? I guess. Uh, yeah, this is the last little row here of stuff. With just scale here, it's probably about $150 scale. But again, didn't come up by the time I was uh, able to stay. Butter churns and everything, one of those tough movers anymore. They used to sell really high. They didn't sell. There's an amount purchase sign right there. It goes on top of a uh, uh, cash register, a brass cash register. Jim was looking for it. Sorry, Jim. Went higher than what I thought. Um, and uh, guys, that's about it. So let's head to the end of this auction here. All right, guys. Auction is all done. We had a bail out of there a little early, but this really cool thing at auction sometimes, you can leave what's called absentee bids. So I got to leave absentee bids on a few of the Christmas items I know Amber would have been interested in, but I was able to get uh, one lot of things before I had to go. Uh, it just wasn't a lot of uh, great prices for me. I was waiting for them to walk around. They just didn't get to that point. So let's show them what we got first, Am. Paid $7 for all these locks, individual. Um, we should be able to sell these for at least $15 to $25 a piece. Sorry if I'm in the way. No, there. it's a shadow. It's gotcha. Just 15 to, I'd say $15 to $20 a piece. Um, not a problem. Easy money. We paid a buck a piece for them. And then one of the absentee bids I did leave were for the candles. Now, if you, like I told you guys when I did my walkthrough, these candles were actually at one of the auctions in Door. And I lost out to a lady, and then the lady put it back in the auction uh, two years later, a year later, and we ended up getting them back for $70. Um, a little more than Amber wanted to pay. She wanted to pay 60, but I always try to add a little extra on to top whatever she says, because that's just uh, what I do. So I thought they're really cool. They're very heavy. They have a very, like a cast iron base, the metal down there, and then that, uh, it's, it's, they're really cool. Uh, so yeah, we're not selling those. Those are actually going to be a part of our Christmas decor uh, when we decorate for Christmas. Uh, the locks we will sell though. And like I said, seven locks on average of 15 bucks a piece. You're looking at probably about $105 off a $7.50 purchase. $70 for those. And like we talked about before, oh sorry, you get out of the light there. And like we talked about before, when you're collecting, if you can go to an auction to buy things that pay for your collection. So that's what's happening here. These locks, when we sell them, will pay for what we paid the candles for. So it's like getting the candles for free is the way we look at it at least. So that's something that's really cool. So yeah, guys, that's our video today. Really cool auction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This was auction number three of our five auction and two week run we're on. Uh, so next one will be on Thursday. So I don't think you guys will see it probably till Saturday. 
Uh, so yeah, that one's gonna be really good. A lot of amazing glass, a lot of Fenton, Murano glass. You guys are gonna absolutely love that auction. So be on the lookout for that. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys wanna like, subscribe, share, comment, all that great stuff, much appreciated. If you get some time, come out and see me and Amber and get your antique fix on M66. See you guys later.